Welcome to our tutorial on the Offset Surface tool. First, let's create a sketch on the front plane. Right-click and Insert Sketch. Let's select the Line tool. Right-click, End Chain. Right-click, Select. Now let's apply the Smart Dimension tool. We'll enter an angle value of 45 degrees. Click OK. And OK again. Now let's shift select both of these lines and convert them to construction geometry. Now let's exit the sketch. OK, at this point, we're going to insert a reference plane. Normal to curve. Click OK. And now let's insert one more reference plane. Also normal to curve. Now let's select this line and click OK. OK, right click, Insert Sketch. Select the Normal 2 view and the Circle tool. Let's create a circle. We will apply the Smart Dimension tool. Our diameter will be 30 millimeters. OK. Let's exit the sketch. And let's go to the isometric view. OK, now let's select Extruded Surface. We will enter a depth value of 80 millimeters. And click OK. We need to insert one more sketch. Let's select the Normal 2 view and Normal 2 again. Let's select the Circle tool. Right click, select, and let's Smart Dimension it. Our value will be 15 millimeters. And we will click OK and then exit the sketch. Let's return to the Extruded Surface tool. Let's retain the 80 millimeter depth value and click OK. Next, let's create another sketch on the front plane. We right click and insert sketch, Normal 2, select the Line tool. Right click and chain. And one more line right here. Right click, select. Now let's apply the Smart Dimension tool. We'll enter a distance of 50 millimeters. Click OK. And OK again. Let's select and convert to construction geometry. Then we're going to right click and hide both reference planes. And finally, we will exit our sketch. Now let's select the Offset Surface tool. I'm going to select this pipe. Using this button, we can reverse the offset direction. Here I enter a value for the offset distance. I'm going to enter 6 millimeters. Hit the Tab key and click OK. Next, I'll use the Trim Surface tool. Let's leave the type at standard. The tool will be Surface Offset 1. Let's keep this section here. And OK. Now, right click on the offset surface and let's hide it. Now we need to trim again. Select Trim Surface. Let's use this sketch. We're going to keep this selection here. Select OK. Lastly, we're going to use the Lofted Surface tool. I'll select this edge and this edge. Adjust the directional handles if needed. Click OK. And let's have a look. Looks good. 
And this concludes our tutorial on the offset surface tool.